Hey there, folks. Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into all sorts of topics that affect our daily lives. Today, we're delving into something that many of us can relate to, the frustrating struggle of tossing and turning in bed, asking ourselves, why can't I sleep? It's like our brain decides to throw a raging party just when we're desperate for some shut-eye. But fear not, because we're about to explore the science behind sleeplessness and uncover some tips to help you catch those elusive Zs. The Battle of the Brain. Ever found yourself lying in bed, mind racing a million miles per hour, replaying every embarrassing moment from third grade? Well, you're not alone. Our brains can be real party poopers when it comes to bedtime. From stress and anxiety to overstimulation from screens, there are countless factors that can hijack our brains and keep us wide awake. The melatonin mystery. Ah, melatonin, our body's natural sleep hormone. It's like the bouncer at the club, signaling to our brain that it's time to wind down and hit the hay. But sometimes this magical hormone gets thrown off balance. Late night Netflix binges and scrolling through social media can trick our brains into thinking it's still daytime, disrupting our melatonin production and leaving us staring at the ceiling. The perils of modern life. In today's fast paced world, it's no wonder we struggle to switch off at night. Our constant connection to technology means we're always just a notification away from being pulled back into the digital abyss. Plus, who needs sheep when you can count all the unread emails in your inbox, am I right? Tips for a snoozeworthy slumber. Now that we've uncovered some of the culprits behind our sleepless nights, let's talk solutions. First up, establish a bedtime routine to signal to your brain that it's time to wind down. Whether it's a warm bath, some light reading, or a few minutes of meditation, find what works for you and stick to it. Next, limit screen time before bed. I know, I know, easier said than done, but trust me, your brain will thank you for giving it a break from the constant barrage of blue light. And finally, if all else fails, don't be afraid to seek professional help. Sleep disorders are no joke, and sometimes we need a little extra support to get the rest we deserve. Conclusion. So there you have it, folks. The mystery of why can't I sleep might not have a one-size-fits-all solution, but by understanding the factors at play and implementing some healthy sleep habits, we can all work towards a better night's rest. Remember, you deserve those Zs, so don't let anything stand in your way. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more content. Until next time, sleep tight and dream big.